Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 30. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Okay, so we are here at the German Car Club and we're going to be driving the Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren. Uh, and we are going first against the Audi TT Quattro Sport. Let's do this. It's going to be the uh, third club of today out of five. Um, and I think after these other ones, I have to do another count afterwards, but... I've got a very good plan of how to finish this as efficiently as possible. And as interesting as possible as well. Let's go. We do have to do all these club races though. For my 100%. I know the game won't count it as 100%, but I want to count them as 100%. Bum 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 bada bada bum 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 Whoa careful Awesome I'm really hoping that this um oh, look how nice that looks uh, I'm really hoping that I can finish this game before I move my setup around because that way I don't have to worry about anything. It will all be done. And I can then relax for a couple of days before sorting everything out. Because uh, I'm having a redo of everything in my room. So I'm moving. Because normally I sit like really quite cramped in the corner of my room. So I'm going to move all my units to one side. Uh, and that way I can have a little more space. Because I can make my... Uh, the cabinet that I have my monitor and stuff on a wider unit uh, which would be much much easier to record at uh, definitely come on come on come on nice we've been down this road so many times it's ridiculous Ah, uh, you know what? This car would be amazing to drive on the road trip. It's not the quickest, but it will do the job very nicely. Awesome. There'll be no traffic cars as well, I think, because it is a normal race, so... That would be decent. Come on, let's do this. I got you. Perfect. Finish first place, Metamoth. What a name. Okay. That was the uh, Audi TT beaten. Very good. Very nice. Right, next up is the Mercedes-Benz SLK 55 AMG. Let's go. We're going against uh, two W12 cars as well. Which is very interesting. I will admit. Right, let's go. Three, two, one, go. And this is 4.2 miles for this race. I think it's a little bit longer than the last one. Ever so slightly, though. This car is easily B-class. This should not be A-class. It's too slow for um, A. This is more like Lamborghini Gallardo territory. And that's B-class. A little bit too slow for my liking. But again, I'm not complaining. It's still a very nice car to drive. Uh, just it might be a problem with the W12 then. In a bit. 
Hopefully it's not too bad though. We can still beat the W12. But I know those W12s can be quite quick. I still don't get why the W12 didn't become like a proper thing. It was still just a concept. Oh, well that was your own fault. Don't blame me. Here we go, nice. Perfect. This car, you sort of do have to watch out a bit. Because uh, if you look, look how long that front nose is compared to the rest of the car. It is miles. It's like a mile long from the front to the rear of the car. Or it may as well be a mile long. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Come on, get out of the way. <laughs> My car's a mile long, you should be able to see it. Weaving in and out of the traffic there. Here we go, finish line is coming up Oh, gone off road a little bit there Let's keep it on And there we go, first place 2 minutes and 19.9 That's really good Awesome I'm just excited for this final race Right, Mercedes-Benz CLS 55 AMG next. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. These races have been a little bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, but that is not a problem for me. And off we go. 1.3 miles. This is a very short one. And that lorry was going easily 90, 100 miles an hour. These traffic cars are speeding. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. I'm just more excited about playing a test drive in more than 30 frames a second, I think. Never played Test Drive Unlimited in more than 30 FPS. So it would be really cool to see like the next gen being like 60 or even 120. That would be impressive. That would be very cool. Imagine. I think the next Test Drive could get like an award for the most beautiful racing game ever. They have the potential. Right, next up is the Mercedes-Benz CLK DTM AMG. It's a very, uh, very long name for a car. Why don't you just call it the Mercedes-Benz A, B, C, D? That's good enough. I mean, there's no point in, like... Mercedes-Benz CLK 55 AMG DTX AMG Class B. Too many letters. Too many letters. Too many words. Just call it like Bugatti Veyron. That's it. That's fine. You know who made it and what it is. Bugatti made it. It's a Veyron. Problem solved. Those traffic cars don't like to move out of the way for anyone. I wonder if I do that. Will they move? Just honk my horn. Move! Nope. Apparently not. There you go. I honk my horn at you as well. How's that? Do you like that? Oh, come on. Perfect.
nice. At the next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Come on. Let's get this done. This is really fun to drive though. It's not the quickest car. It's very slow actually. By God, it's fun. No car has the same amount of enjoyment factor as this thing does. This thing is insanely fun. It's smooth to drive. And it looks stunning. I think I might want to change it to a black colour though. I think I prefer the SLR in a black. Than the uh, silver. Silver's nice. But uh, I always take it in silver as well. So it would be a nice change to drive it in black. Very good. Come on, finish line's just up ahead. Ah, oh, you turned the corner. That's not fair. There is a law in the UK that states that you have to check your mirrors before indicating even a turn signal to say that you're about to turn. So you need to make sure that there is no one when you drive there. Quite clearly, a speeding, very fast McLaren clearly in your mirror it is massive it's a mile long don't pull out <laughs> unbelievable right next up is the Volkswagen W12 Roadster so this is the first of the two cars that I was worried about but uh, if we get these we shouldn't have to worry I do not like these cars at all though even after all this time, I, there's just something about the VW W12 that I don't like. There's just something about it. I don't like it. Maybe because of the fact that his name is Tentacles. He crashed as well. See, point proven. It's a shite car. Don't call yourself Tentacles either. That's just weird. I think that's karma. We'll call it karma. Very nice. Obviously, this uh, McLaren SLR has the uh, typical long first gear. In fact, the SLR McLaren is a weird car in general. Because even though back in the day when these cars were around, you sort of had like six gears, seven gears were becoming a thing, but. Cars that went this speed would normally have at least six gears, and that last six gear would be quite long to hit the top speed. Um, not this thing. Oh no, this thing uh, was different. Completely different story. It had five gears. No, it had six. It did have six, I think. Or it might have been five. I'm not sure. But the final fifth gear was so long that if you did have six gears, you wouldn't ever get out of it anyways. Weird car. There we go, across the line. Destroyed the W12 Roadster and destroyed tentacles. Ugh. Creeps me out. Squids. Ugh. But uh, next up after that is going to be the W12 Coupe. So, um, let's go. I don't think there is actually much of a per uh, performance difference. I can't speak. Much of a performance difference between the two cars. Between the Roadster and the Coupe. But who knows. And we're off. 
5.7 miles, that is decent, okay. I also can't see my mini-map because I've got a drink in front of it, so, um... I'm a suffer. I'm definitely going to struggle with this. I'm sort of uh, craning my head around my TV. Nice. Why would you go down a slip road like that just to go left? That's not how roads work. You don't go down a slip road at the side to go back onto the road you came from. What? Ugh, traffic logic in these games. They didn't have common sense installed. They left that package on the shelf. Right, so the coupe is keeping up very nicely, which isn't a nice thing, because I don't want it to be there. I want it to be miles behind so I don't have to worry. The next intersection, turn right. Turn right. Okay, not good. Gone off-road a little bit. But we are 3.3 miles away, so as long as we don't crash, we should be okay. Okay, we're going to go on the hard shoulder. Okay, not good. I see trucks everywhere trying to uh, take me off the road. Right. Alright, slow down. Perfect. We're going to finish off this German car club. We're going to be the winner winner and chicken dinner of this club. Nice. Turn right. Probably should have done the clubs more sooner on in the series, but who cares? We're having a lot of fun with this game. To the point that I'm not too fast how this goes. We haven't had too many problems. We haven't had too many losses. That's not good. Okay. Let's get it back. These games can read minds. They really can. And whoever's driving that W12 Coupe is like perfection. Has not crashed once. There's the finish. And it's on a dead end as well. So we're going to go bang. Oh, nice. We won a Mercedes-Benz CLK DMT AMG. Awesome. So that's one of the few... <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Uh, so this is one of the six clubs that you actually earn a car from. So that's decent. Right, let's see it. Let's see the president text. There we go. We are president. Nice. Right, so the next club that we need to do is Club C. So we're going to be taking the Aston Martin DB9 Coupe for this one. Uh, so we're going to do this one, and then I think the next one is Club B. Uh, and then that's going to be my recording session for today, because I'm knackered genuinely tired so I need to get an early night's sleep but here we go Aston Martins off we go perfect really good so far. Very short first race. I will admit that. Okay, not ideal. There we go. Nice. The Nismo is trying to catch up, but we are not going to let it. 
That's also a Ford dealership behind us too. Okay, here we go. Finish line coming up now. And across we go. Nice, first place. We've got 3,500 credits for that. Awesome. Race one of six done. There we go. Right, next up, Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Let's destroy this one. Stupid, I ain't gonna let you get the chance. Alright, let's go. Today is a very weird day for the internet as well, because uh, as of today, the uh, entire internet is in uproar, because Donald Trump said that he wants to ban TikTok again. Um, so... I don't know what he has, what problem he has with it, but uh, yeah, it's not like anyone who's installing the app already knows that it's going to collect your data anyway, so it's not really a privacy risk, but eh. some people don't understand how the world works and how apps work. Probably just pissed off a lot of people by saying that, but I don't care. <laughs> Genuinely don't really like him too much anyways. At the next intersection, turn right. Oh, not great. Awesome, let's go. Cross the line. Nice. First place. Oh. I've just spilt Lucas aid everywhere. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look, see what the next car is. So we're going against the Lotus Sport Exige 240R. Now I think that 240 represents the amount of horsepower it has. Um, I think our Aston has about 550, which is double, but our car probably weighs double that as well, so, I don't know. This could technically, on paper, be very close. But, uh, we all know on paper doesn't ever work out. Very nice. Three miles till we finish this race. Come on, let's do this. This car has been driven so much. 351 miles. That is crazy distance. Oh no, we flung a car miles into the air. The fact is, these are all only um, C-Class vehicles, so um, it, we won't have like a sudden surprise of car. They all are C-Class, so they're very sort of similar performance. And based on the fact that this car is actually faster than most of the B-Class cars in this game, uh, I don't think we're going to have much of a problem. Bum, 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 bum. I love drum and bass. It's such a good genre of music to go with racing. It's just simple. Adds background noise, but there's no lyrics. There's no words, and it doesn't need words. Because words puts you off. 
you start thinking. All you need in a racing game is just some background noise. Sometimes people don't like that, they'll turn the music off. Here we go though. You can see the blue finish line. And there we go. Nice. That is... Is that the third race now done? I think so. Race numero three. That's not how you would normally say it. Race numero three. Wow. Okay. Next up is the Chrysler Firepower concept car. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>